Today is going to be a very simple mukbang. It's warm today and it's actually the daytime right now and I am not going to I'm not going to be cooking in this weather. And I'm not going to be turning on the air conditioning because it's very expensive and there's no need to waste that energy. So, I'll wait until uh, there's a cool day to do that mukbang, but for now we're going to do a simple sandwich mukbang and I decided on Ike's. I don't know if you've heard of it, but Ike's originated in San Francisco, California. So if you've been there and you waited on the long lines to get these delicious sandwiches, you should know what I'm talking about. But not everyone's going to know what this is, so this is why I want to introduce it to you. Let's get ready. That's Ike. That's honestly what he actually really looks like. Isn't that so funny? I got a brownie. What are those caramel pops? These are voodoo chips. I haven't ever, ever actually tried this brand, so we'll see exactly what it tastes like. Napkins. And this is the sandwich. Let me open this up for you guys. So if you haven't noticed, his face is all over the packaging. So this is actually This is a vegan sandwich. It's a damn good vegan sandwich too. So like I said, this is a vegan sandwich. It's called a handsome owl. Um, I think it has vegan chicken in it. I'm not too sure, but I just know that when I ordered it, I've ordered this before and it, it tastes amazing. So regardless if it's meat or not, the flavor is phenomenal. Let's open up these zap chips. I don't really know what these zap chip flavors are or the, the flavor of this. We'll see. I think it's supposed to be hot, so we'll try that. But I brought some more chips just in case. Sometimes I feel like they just don't give you enough chips anyway, you know? So I gotta bring some of my own. Let's get ready. I have some hot sauce here. This is a chipotle habanero pepper sauce. And then I have sriracha. So let's see. I'm very excited. All right, let's dig in. Close-up shot. Let's dig in. Mmm. So these voodoo chips taste like just really spicy barbecue chips. Mmm. So it's actually served on this delicious Dutch crunch bread. Mmm, really messy.
So this is definitely supposed to be messy. Mm. Yeah, get yourself a ton of napkins when you go here. Mm. So technically this is kind of my first <clears throat> introduction to vegan, vegan food, which is nice. Not this one. I think I like it with sriracha. This is so good.
I feel like I'm on my 30 minute lunch break right now. Like I eat super fast. The thing with me too is like when I take lunch breaks, I do not. I really hate being in a lunch room with other people because to me, a lunch break, well, it's called a break, right? So, I mean, I'm talking to customers all day. I'm using all my energy and seriously, like the last thing I want to do is have a lunch with someone and chat and talk. My idea of a perfect lunch break is to be by myself. I do not want anyone around me. It's just a moment for me. You know, I just have to take a moment to kind of re, re-energize or, I don't know, just, I just need to relax. You know, I'm already stressed out during the day. I just want a moment to myself. And a lot of people don't understand that. And they especially don't understand that about me because, you know, naturally, you would think that I would want to be around people, but no, I feel like that's the introverted side of me. When I take a break, I do not want to be around anyone. I, I'm not trying to be rude, you know, but that's my personality. What you need to know about me is that, yes, I'm very social. But I, I also have a lot of control over it as well, right? I control when I want to be social and when I want to be alone. And it's very half-half. Anyways, that was a weird rant. It's just because people give me so much shit for wanting to eat by myself. Mmm, that was so good. If you find an egg sandwich shop and they ask for whatever type of bread, please say the Dutch crunch. It's sweet, it's, it's got a nice texture. I really like the chew. It's a soft chew too, it's not, It's just really fresh bread. Mmm. Let's eat this brownie here. Sustainable Peruvian chocolate brownie. I just saw this at the register and I wanted to try it. Ah, crumbly. Mmm. 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 I love brownies. It's so good. Oh, another thing about lunch breaks that I hate is when I have to leave the campus, you know, like when I have to actually leave the workplace to get food. I hate it. Driving away from my workplace just to get food. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it.
I just, I feel like I get the worst anxiety because, you know, I, I fear like we're not going to get back in time or something. So I just avoid it altogether and not go and pick up food outside of work, you know, or any place I would have to go and drive to, you know, so I avoid that altogether because I don't want to experience that anxiety. But it is different for everyone because I worked in retail, you know? So to me, it was just always, we were always on our feet. We were never sitting down. We're not sitting down in an office or in a cubicle. So I'm always on my feet and everyone's job is different, right? So some of you guys are sitting in a chair hours on upon hours and you want to get out, you know, you want to leave your building for a little bit just to see something else. So I totally get that. Actually, if anything, I, if I had an office job, I think I would have to leave or get out somehow, you know? But for me, you know, working on retail and being a salesperson, standing all damn day, the last thing I want to do is walk or drive to a place, you know, to another place or a restaurant to eat during lunch. I hate it. Mmm, this is so perfect. Mmm. I like these simple kind of mukbangs because I can eat the food right away. Whereas the other ones are a bit more complicated, so... I have to set up and all that crazy stuff and I just don't get to eat the food right away. It drives me insane sometimes. I'm going to enjoy this pop later today. But thank you guys. I hope uh, maybe one day you guys will get a chance to try Ike's sandwiches. As, you know, if you happen to be in San Francisco, that's where you should be having it. Because that's where Ike's originated from. But now they're expanding all over California, hopefully outside of that too. I'm not sure. But if you do run into it, please try it. Try their vegan sandwiches, even if you aren't vegan. They're absolutely delicious. But just to clarify, this wasn't a vegan meal because I had chips and this, you know, the hot sauce and all that stuff. Just the sandwich, okay, with the vegan meat and the vegan cheese. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much, guys. I'm happy now. I can go on with my day. Time for some chores. I'll see you guys later. Bye.